Hi, we're the Foothill Cheerleaders and Operation Football starts now. Live from the News 3 Studios, this is Operation Football, powered by the News 3 Station Casino Sports Desk. That's what I'm talking about, Jesse. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Operation Football, the very best high school football show in Las Vegas, as voted on by our producer, Kaylee, <laughs> and director, Justin. I'm pretty sure our boss has paid them to say that, but hey, we'll take what we can get, right? Oh, uh, that's right. <laughs> Jesse Merrick, Brian Salmon. Yeah. Uh, what, you think it's going to be a good show? Let's hope so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it will be. <laughs> I, I think it will be as well. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get right to it. Our game of the week. And that is where we find our Amber Dixon. Uh, hey, Amber, somebody who had to go in our Operation Football Game of the Week, Desert Pines at Foothill. And it was a battle between two undefeated teams. And at Foothill High, of course, that's where the game was at. But no team is going to be perfect after tonight's barn burner. Amber, show us what you got. All right, the team that is no longer perfect tonight is Foothill. Those Falcons had a little trouble hanging with a Desert Pines team that has several D1 prospects. The Foothill Falcons were 4-0 ahead of tonight's game and got a rude awakening when Desert Pines returned the opening kickoff for a touchdown. Here, Desert Pines up 6-zip in the first quarter when their QB, RJ Tagatzis, throws a little pass over the top to tight end Darnell Washington and the five-star recruit. The top recruit in the state of Nevada in the class of 2020 is just too big for everyone on the field and goes 22 yards for the touchdown. Down 20 nothing in the second quarter, Foothill would get on the board when Coy Riggin hooked up with Thomas Fisher Welch in the end zone. A painful six points for the senior wide receiver. But second half, and DP's Darnell Washington would make this one handed TD catch look oh so easy. And the Desert Pines Jaguars would go on to win 33 14. Two scores out of your top tight end, the five star recruit, Darnell Washington. What makes him special to you? He's just, he's a special athlete. You know, tonight they had Georgia, Miami here looking at him, and he just put on a show. He's just an amazing talent. Darnell, two touchdowns from you tonight. What did you think of your own performance? Uh, I started a little slow. Actually, no, I started pretty good. Uh, kind of went downhill. Our, our team spared, kind of went down a little bit. But then we finished, we fought, we fought, and the outcome came. Ahead of tonight's game, Desert Pines had talked about the need of shutting down number two on Foothill, but turns out that Foothill needed to be just as concerned about number two on Desert Pines. That's a freshman wide receiver, DeAndre Moore. He had two touchdowns for the Jaguars tonight. Reporting live from a very windy Foothill High School, and Amber Dixon, back to you. Man, I just can't get over that kid number one. That is a grown man among many young boys there. Thanks, Amber. A tight, end, a tight game over there. With that, we'll move to a game that on paper looked like it would be tight if you looked at the records. Both Bishop Gorman and Silverado entered this one at 3-1, and one, but that's where the similarities stop because Gorman is Gorman, and they did Gorman things tonight. First possession of the game for the Gales and first touch of the game for the Gales. Micah Bowen hooks up with his favorite wideout, Roma Dunze, and it's 7-0. But still in the first up, 14-0 now. Ragsdale's rocking six with his eyes set on just that. You see that the defender's legs went out like a couple on date night. That ain't getting it done. 21 Ooh, skunk for the bad. Gales. You like that, huh? Not bad. The scores were great. and. All but, you know, I'm all about the six snags. How about that one right there? Cam Hunterden hitting us with the full send snag. Gotta like that. He's down at the one, and they punch it into play later and cruise to the 62 nothing homecoming win. And, folks, a game that easily could have been our game of the week, the undefeated Centennial Bulldogs, with an opportunity to show they are for real. They travel to Arborview to take on the Aggies in a huge Mountain Northwest matchup. Oh, this would be a good one tonight. It's a part All of the right. Red Sea right there. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Moses part in the Red Sea? How about this guy part in the Red Sea with his speed? Jordan Smith. You see what I did there, Jesse? I yeah. took what you said and then I said something. <laughs> anyway, this kid is fast. I mean, he is really fast. He's probably number one uh, in speed on their team. Maybe that's why they gave him that jersey number. Touchdown for Jordan Smith. But our review, obviously, they're a good team for a reason. Look at the pitch and catch. Is that a, a Dilfer dime? Can we say that? I think we could throw that in there. I think we can say that. And how about this? 
they could probably use this kicker with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a team that Jesse likes oh, because a beautiful on, field man. goal you had to go after the by Centennial right there. And then it's number one again. Are you going to catch this kid? Nope. No, you're not catching Jordan Smith, the fiery, fast, flame-throwing, running kid from Centennial. But Arborview would stay in this game. The handoff, number 37, scores a touchdown for the Aggies. Had a chance to kind of come back and maybe tie the game with a field goal or win with a touchdown. But the defensive line for the Centennial Bulldogs, too much. They get the win, 17-14, to over the Arborview Aggies. I had to start going through my progressions and slowing it down a little bit. And once that big play came, it just track speed came on, the usual. Since, since we've been trying to do this, since we was all freshmen, like the players that have been with me, we've been building this team for so long, it just it feels so, it feels so magnificent that we can get the dub tonight. I like that. It feels so magnificent. It does. I heard last that they beat uh, Arborview what, was when years? Britney Spears shaved her head. Wow. With that, let's look at some scores, huh? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah, you like that? <laughs> scores! Scores, come on guys, let's go, let's pop them up. There we go. <laughs>
for Desert Pines. Is he a tight end or is he a lineman, a linebacker? I is he see a Terminator? His birth certificate. That's what I want to see. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and he's fast. He's got a, the shoulder pads flapping. Man. A tight end screen. When's the last time you've seen a tight end screen? Not for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. All right, folks, let's chime in as we get right, out of the show here. Team Mom Stewart, Team Mom Williams. I guess we're going out on them. Operation Football, Jesse Merrick, Brian Salmon. We will see you next week.